Hello guys, welcome back to my favorite channel. Right now, I want to share about uh, knowing the price level a product. Knowing the price level of product is trading at is less important than knowing its most common swing size. Every trading vehicle that we analyze has a different volatility. In contrast to the S&P 500 index, which show a trading range between less than 800 points and somewhat above 1,200 points over the past year, Microsoft trades at price levels between USD 40 and 70. And Alliance trades at price levels between U are 230 and 290 traders have to keep in mind that the smaller the swing size is the more trades we get if the swing size selected is too large we might not get a trade at all the easiest way to find a good swing size is to look at historical data on the longest lasting site worth pattern to find the best average swing size value. Figure 6.4 contains the chart example of Microsoft over one year. Simulation of trading signals based on plain price corrections daily in combinations with 3-point chart patterns. Figure 6.5 show the same trading approach applied to the alien stock late in 2001 and early in 2002. Having explained in detail the Fibonacci ratio 61% in combinations with candlestick and 3-point chart patterns, it is pattern 9. To mention the alternative to Fibonacci related key ratios, 38% and 50%. Additional Fibonacci corrections levels do 38% and 50% Fibonacci corrections levels require different rules from the ones described to support in this chapter. This question is important because nothing is more frustrating for a trader than to wait for the Fibonacci retracement level 61% and shortly before is reached. To have the market turn with no trade down. Simulations of trading signals based on plain price corrections daily in combinations with 3-point chart patterns. 177. The dilemma of making the right decisions at the right time based on Fibonacci price corrections becomes obvious when we look at the DEX 30 index in Figure 6. 6 a strong rally is followed by a price. Corrections to the first Fibonacci retracement level of 38%. At this point, when almost all information surface, market leaders and media representative call for new lows, the trader must decide whether to wait for the 61% retracement level or to risk executing a long trade in the DEX 30 what we need and are trying to find here is additional support that makes the decisions a little easier. A tool that could help you consider the final strength of the price corrections would be ideal. One tool that has proven reliable already when used in combinations with the 61% Fibonacci corrections level is candlestick charting. If we change the charting technique Q and add candlestick to figure 6, 6, 30 chart from 
x2 to 10 the chart of the the chart of the dex 13 dex we see a clear pictures that makes our decisions confusing and valid from the chart we can draw the following rules for a solid short term long term in the dex 13 dex the Fibonacci level 38% is reached. After the corrections level is reached, we identify a doji candlestick pattern, which is a strong indication the market price will at least not drop for sure from this price level. The following day, we identify and Engulfing candlestick patterns that confirms the market price is ready for corrections. To receive still more confirmations of the potential trend reversal to the upside, we can wait two more days. The market price form a double bottom. Fibonacci 6, 7, Dex, 30 chart from to 10 to. At the latest on the 50 day after the price movement touching the 38% retracement line, Harami patterns assures us of a possible market entry along at controlled risk. We set the stop. We set the stop loss at the low of the day the bricks the 38% corrections line a similar simulations can be conducted for the 50% retracement level which is also well recognized by traders for traders for traders who plan to keep stocks longer in a portfolio this is a decent corrections level especially because it is reached much more often than the conservative 61% Fibonacci retracement level. Figure 6a shows a chart of the S&P 500 index between May and September 2002. Once again, we are caught in a situation we're waiting for the 61.8% corrections level mic lead to a dip and will no trade all. Using plans corrections levels without additional indicators has little value, especially for traders with a short term orientations. As before, this is where candlestick patterns recognition becomes part of the game. Integrating the candlestick charting technique into the general picture of Fibonacci price corrections change the S&P 500 index chart as shown in figure 6-9. The candlestick patterns analysis runs uh, follows for a long signal in the S&P 500 index. Once the price move breaks the 50% retracement line, the Harami candlestick pattern is a first indication that market corrections might not continue. The Harami pattern is followed by a hammer candlestick pattern. The hammer, the hammer is a very strong confirmation that a trend change to the upside is about to occur. Finally, and in addition to the candlestick patterns, the resistance line is the resistance line is significantly broken to the upside. Figure 6 9 S P 500 chart from 5 to 2 9 2 Corrections level in combinations with candlestick 181 we get a buy signal at the hike of the day 
with the hammer candlestick pattern and one the breakout of the resistance line and on the breakout of the resistance line the most recent value before the long entry determines the stop loss instead of combining Fibonacci price corrections with candlestick patterns or three point chart patterns traders can also merge them with Fibonacci extensions support and resistance line and PHI ellipse in a integrated Fibonacci related approach Fibonacci corrections uh, and multiple Fibonacci tools trading signals based on Fibonacci corrections become more valid as uh, more tools confirm a turning point in the market all Fibonacci trading tools are devised for reflecting investor behavior that is why it is easy to combine them we are looking for clusters of confirmations of trend reversals to get the full picture we add Fibonacci extensions levels as well as support and resistance lines to our starting trading device. The Fibonacci price corrections, the three main Fibonacci retracement, 38%, 50%, and 61% are nothing more than the converted Fibonacci ratios. Uh, zero six hundred eighteen one thousand and one thousand sixty one eight eh, one thousand sixty one thousand six hundred eighteen when looking for the trend change we can combine the calculations if the necessary swing size exit feature 6 time price been based on Fibonacci corrections and Fibonacci extensions combined many combinations of Fibonacci price corrections and extensions are possible the rationale behind the calculations of the target prices that determine the price band is the following the corrections level calculated using the Fibonacci ratio 61% is reached just below point C if we take the distance between point B and point 1 and multiply it by the Fibonacci ratio 1600 18 we reach a price target that is a little bit above point C the pre-calculated price C target of them do not overlap completely as long as the price band formed by the target prices is very narrow we find an ideal Fibonacci target level for the price target is calculated twice by the Fibonacci figures 1618 and 61% figure 611 uh, is a bar chart example of the S&P 500 index between November 2001 and November 2002 that combines Fibonacci price corrections and extensions Figure 6011 S&P 500 chart from 11.1 to 11.2 Calculation of Prezi Band 183 traders often ask whether they can 
predict price movements with the Fibonacci ratio, the answer is that we cannot say in advance whether a pre-calculated price C target will ever be reached. But one we can say is that as soon as a price C target pre-calculated by the combined Fibonacci figures is reached, the chance for a trend change are high. Although the best price targets are to uh, reach the Fibonacci levels 1618 and 61% overlap, these perfect targets are rare. Fibonacci extensions are calculated using the ratios from the PHI series. If we calculate large and no swing size, smaller ratios for calculating Fibonacci extensions become more important in combinations with Fibonacci price corrections. If we take the latter argument into account, the analysis show in figure 611 on the S&P 500 index becomes easier to understand. In our example, we have uh, applied the ratio uh, 0682 instead of 100. Eh, Instead of 1618, the price band, uh, the price band on the chart 3 4 is based on the following calculations: the Fibonacci corrections level of 50% between point A and point B leads to a target price of 900. Uh, 75 points in the S&P 500 index. The Fibonacci extensions level of uh, 0, 382 leads to a target price of 963 points in the S&P 500 index because we focus on large swings that last over months we cannot expect to find price C targets calculated at ratio of 1618 extensions or 61% corrections to be easy reached in our example, we have calculated the first wave of a long-term S&P 500 index market movement. If it holds true that we have finished the first and second wave of a three-wave pattern, the S&P 500 index is currently in the third wave. The next price target is the hike of wave uh, 1 at 690, uh, 666 if the market price moves cons continuously higher the corrections level of 50% and 61% become critical price targets that traders should watch carefully. In the event of future rising prices, new price extensions levels based on swing that have not yet been released may be used for additional calculations. Whenever Fibonacci price corrections levels of uh, 50% or 61% are reached on large swings. We might not enter the market right, away, market right away based on daily price data and use a soft 
sophisticated and zero in speed. For short term traders, however, especially those with an intraday per with an intraday perspective, these pricey goals are extremely important. So far in this chapter, we have encouraged readers to wait for additional confirmations of trend reversal once Fibonacci corrections levels have been triggered by candlestick patterns, three point charts pattern, or other Fibonacci device. Short term traders, however, who only want to scalp a few basic points at very low risk need to pay attention to the following price targets at point e the total distance from points a to d is corrected by 50 percent followed by a stronger pricey move in the s p 500 index at point f the total distance from points D to E is corrected by 61%. The market price C in the S&P 500 index reverse instantly to the downside at point F. Figure 6012 uh, S&P 500 chart from 52 to 112. 185 if we switch the perspective after this intermezzo from short term back to long term we finally set the focus to profitable combinations of Fibonacci price corrections Fibonacci extensions and PHI ellipse figure 6013 shows a perfect buy signal for a long term investment immediately after the lowest low in the S&P 500 index is made late in September 2002. New lows or hikes, especially in large swings and double bottom or double top formations, are always possible indications of major trend reversals. Investors should be highly alert for a trend change if other tools and parameters confirm the turning point. The price extensions in figure 6013 calculated as the total distance from the hike at uh, 965 to the low at 868 multiplied by the Fibonacci ratio 1000 leads to a target price of 772 the lowest low in the s p 500 index is at 775 one can hardly get closer the lowest low in the range from 750 to 800 in the S&P 500 index could have been calculated many months earlier, earlier based on other price swings. We are come back to this in the next sections. Long. Oh. Once the once the double bottom is made or entry rule applies the breakout of the outside line of the phi ellipse confirms the trend reversal the buy signal is a filled market on open on the day of the breakout summary trading the fibonacci corrections level uh, 38 percent 50% and 61% successfully depends on several factors. The biggest question is the swing size a trader is working with. If the, if the swing size is large, the corrections level uh, 
38% might be appropriate. However, if the swing size is too large, we might get a trade only once or twice a year. If the swing size is too small, we might get too many trading signals. The easiest way to find a good trade is to look at sideward markets on historical data. The profitability of the approach also depends on whether we work with daily or intraday data. For daily data, we recommend it Trading the 61% correction level if a trader has the patience to wait for this level to be reached. However, as our examples on S&P 500 index data indicate, there might be times when looking for the corrections level is not good enough. What is needed? is also an entry rule to confirm the trend change in addiction it is always important to work with a stop loss the integrations of candlestick charting significantly improves the results on the other hand candlestick super that is the disadvantage that we don't always find a valid candlestick pattern when our favorite retracement level is triggered the best trading strategy while working with 61% corrections levels is a combination of entry rule and 3 point chart patterns as demonstrated in our examples the 3 point chart patterns are uh, always there and are always really always reliable the chart example of Microsoft and Alliance are proof that this approach can be easily applied to stock or any other product with a trading market pattern and enough volatility at a good swing size. The biggest problem for a trader is to wait for the 61% corrections level. The market price comes close but does not reach it and then moves in the opposite there in the opposite direction the trader has anticipated the price corrections properly but misses a big profit opportunity because of working with a 61% corrections level 187 problem we have combined different corrections level with candlestick patterns and 3 point chart patterns in our examples. Combining Fibonacci price C extensions and corrections can be of great help for us for a trader who is looking for solid entry levels. Long term and short term calculations based on price corrections finally can be combined with price extensions, 3 point chart patterns, and PHI ellipse. Combinations of the three seldom show up as discussed, it takes a lot of discipline to wait for such combinations and it is an even bigger problem to execute the trading signals when they show up in experience investors often are afraid to take trend signals to make investment decisions easier and more Reliable, we look for multiple confirmations of trend reversals. In general, extensions mean investment against the main trend, which is defined by the first impulse swing in a three wave move or a five wave pattern. 
extensions are important as Fibonacci trading tools because they show up not only in fast moves over a couple of days or weeks in soft commodities but also in financial instruments, derivatives, or currencies as indicators of major trend change. Extensions occur at extreme points when media coverage sets investors on fire. Traders must be patient and disciplined because extensions are patterns that can rarely be detected in the markets. Started markets are in a trading state less than one type of the time. Therefore, we receive many more signals on the basic of corrections less extensions. Generally speaking, extensions Generally speaking, extensions are defined on the basic of a three-wave pattern. A target price C is calculated from the initial swing size of the first impulse wave multiplied by the Fibonacci ratio 1618 eh, and the resulting product once again added to the swing size. In the sections, however, we are not so much interested in extensions as trading tools to generate counter trend trading signals once the price target is reached. What we want to deal with are the price targets at the end of Fibonacci extensions because they are highly significant indicators of points in the market actions where trend changes are likely. Whereas working with Fibonacci corrections means having a high and low push, high and low point, and looking for possible corrections levels in pricing. Working with extensions means the opposite. We have a price swing from point A to point B as described in the preview sections and want to know how far the market price C might go before it runs into resistance levels. Calculating price targets in experienced Fibonacci traders may find this calculating confusing. The purpose of the chart provided in figure Six uh, fourteen is to prevent readers from getting loose in the jungle of corrections and except and extensions. The chart shows the S and P five hundred index between May and November two thousand two. The swing from point A to point B is the basic for all calculations. We calculate the three price targets for extensions by using the ratios figures 6, uh, 14, S&P 500, chart from 5, 2 to 11, 2, price targets. Figure uh, 6, uh, 15, eh, 6, 14 also shows the three corresponding price targets for market corrections at levels of 3 uh, of 38%, 50%, and 61%. If the market does not go higher than the height in point C <laughs> and makes a new peak there, we have to recalculate our price see targets up and down based on the new initial swing from point A to point C. Our main aim is to find pricey clusters or multiple confirmations of price targets a which major trend reversal can be expected. 
the following three step approach in the S&P 500 index between July 2001 and November 2002 start with the extensions levels continues with the corrections levels and finally brings them both together to come up with price events formed by price extensions and price corrections Figure 6, uh, 15 contains three important price extensions level in the S&P 500 index calculated at Fibonacci ratios. Uh, 100 bets on the initial swings from points B to C. The swing from the valley at point B to the peak at point C is a corrective move to the strong downtrend starting in March 2002. We can draw three Fibonacci corrections at levels of uh, 38%, 50%, and 61% on the chart of the S&P 500 index again between July. 2001 and November 2002. The initial price swing this time runs from the peak in A to the valley in B. The reason we conduct the analysis is to get to a risk of support and resistance that are product that are product that are pro projections from today into the future our final step is to bring Fibonacci extensions and Fibonacci price corrections together in one chart Terebi defining price events that are areas of potential major trend reversals the chart combining the different price targets of the S&P 500 index was completed late in November 2002, shortly before we finished the first draft of this book. We did not, uh, of course, know what the market price would do. However, we knew that the extensions level presented here would be important. 191 we could not know whether and when the price C targets will be reached but if the market price C in the S&P 500 index were to go to any of these price events it would find resistance how much resistance we did not know that either, but readers who have worked their way through this book up to this point uh, know the tools and how to handle them properly for a sold market analyst. Figure 617 uh, show the three resistance areas in the S&P 500 index derived from the combinations of Fibonacci extensions and corrections to A. Uh, the three resistance areas can be analyzed as follows. Uh, the first resistance area is between 963 and 974 points. The calculations is based on the corrections level of 50% measure from the initial swings from the peak at point A to the valley at point B and on the Fibonacci price extensions calculated at a ratio on the swing size from point D to point E. Resistance areas based on Fibonacci extensions and corrections the second resistance area is between 1,022 uh, and 
1038 points this price event is calculated based on Fibonacci corrections level 61% point A to point B and extensions at a ratio value in B to peak in C and a second price extensions value in D to peak in E 3. A third resistance level shows up uh, at about 1085 1, points this can hardly be called an area because two extensions when calculated at a ratio uh, 60 eh, 601 618 on the swing from B to C and when calculated at a ratio 1000 on the swing from D to E would lead to almost the same target price in the S&P 500 index. It is important to realize that Fibonacci extensions and corrections point at trend reversal in price, not in time. An experience we had with uh, one of our projections for the S&P 500 index illustrates the importance of times as a trading factor. A true story in the investment magazine Hedge Funds Review, uh, 13 October 2001, we published an uh, article under the working title, How far will the S&P 500 index drop? Our calculated target price was between uh, 750 and 800 points. We were on the dollar with our calculations price-wise, but we did not expect the S&P 500 index first to go up and then reach our price target. We described as well how we would get a buy signal based on a PHI ellipse showed the market price not go lower but climbed higher instead. This example reflects a uh, real life and shows exactly the dilemma while working with Fibonacci price targets. Calculations might be correct, but timing may be off. Nothing is this universe can calculate trend change in price and time correctly all the time. But Fibonacci calculations have an astonishing rate of accurate forecasting in price if the time factor is bravely faded out long term trend change in the Japanese yen cash currency in contrast to previous projections to define future resistance areas of the S&P 500 index the following chart the following chart example shows trend change in the Japanese yen cash currency One hundred ninety-three or historical daily data sample coin first February two thousand one to November two thousand two. Five major trend reversals based on price extensions can be pinpointed for the twenty months, according to figures uh, six eighteen. The significant trend reversal in the Japanese yen cash currency are market. A to F, the calculations of price targets to confirm the trend change run as follows. The price band for the trend change at points A is calculated by multiplying the distance from point 4 to point 5 by the ratio 1618. The price band for the trend change at 
point B is calculated by multiplying the distance from point 1 to point 2 by the ratio pro by the ratio figure 6 18 Japanese yen chart from 2 1 to uh, 11 2 <coughs> major trend change And by multiplying the distance from point A to point 6 by the ratio 1618, the price band for the trend change at point C is calculated by multiplying the distance from point 7 to point 8 by the ratio uh, 1618, and by making use of the support level formed by the significant peaks at points 2 and point 4. The price band for the trend change at point E is calculated by multiplying the distance from point B to point C by the ratio 100, uh, by the ratio 1000, and by multiplying the distance from point D to point 9, by the ratio uh, 618 the price band for the trend change at point F is calculated by multiplying the distance from point E to point 10 by the ratio 6, uh, 618 and by a uh, 50% retracement measured on the swing from the peak at point 7 to the valley at point E. The tools applied do not identify the trend change in D. There is no price C band to chapter the trend reversal at point D. Summary working with Fibonacci price extensions can be important to calculate long-term or short-term turning points in any trade product. We have presented examples for determining for determining price events as target for market no, for market movements. To define the upper and the lower border of a price band and terribly se separate the important price targets from the less important ones, <coughs> we use Fibonacci price extensions calculated from different swing size. Fibonacci price extensions in combinations with Fibonacci price corrections, price bands or clusters are two significant areas on the price scale where price targets calculated from different swing size either overlap or are very close together. Price clusters are especially meaningful when conducting projections of future price movements as exemplified on the S&P 500 index. The Japanese yen cash currency example shows how major turning points in the markets can be identified successfully on highly volatile products
Fibonacci corrections are multiple Fibonacci tools trading signals based on Fibonacci corrections become more valid as more tools confirm a turning point in the market all Fibonacci trading tools are devised for reflecting investor behavior that is why it is easy to combine them we are looking for clusters of confirmations of trend reversals to get the full picture we add Fibonacci extensions level as well as support and resistance lines to our starting trading device the Fibonacci price corrections the three main Fibonacci retracements three uh, 38 percent 50 percent and 61 percent are nothing more than the converted Fibonacci ratio 1000 and 1618 uh, 1618 when looking for the trend chance we can combine the cal the calculations if the necessary swing size exists uh, pricey band based on Fibonacci corrections and Fibonacci extensions combine it Many combinations of Fibonacci pricey corrections and extensions are possible. The rationale behind the calculating on the target prices that determine the pricey band is the following. The corrections level calculated using is Fibonacci ratio uh, 61 percent is reached just below point C if we take the distance between point B and point 1 and multiply it by the Fibonacci ratio 1618 we reach a price target that is a little bit above point C the pre-calculated Price targets of them do not overlap completely. As long as the price band formed by the target prices is very narrow, we find an ideal Fibonacci target level for the price targets is calculated twice by the Fibonacci figures 1618 and 61%. Figure 611 is a bar chart example of the S&P 500 index between November 2001 and November 2002 that combines Fibonacci price corrections and extensions. Figure 611 S&P 500 chart from calculations of price band. But what we can say is that as soon as a price target pre-calculated by combining Fibonacci figures is reached, the chance the best price targets are to which the Fibonacci levels 1618 and 61% overlap. Uh, this perfect, these perfect targets are rare. Fibonacci uh, extensions are calculated using the ratios from the PHI series. If we calculate large node swing size, small ratios for calculating Fibonacci extensions become more important in combinations with Fibonacci price corrections. If we take the latter argument into account, the analysis show in figure 6. Uh, 11 on the S&P 500 index becomes easier to understand. In our example, we have we have applied the ratio 
The pricey band on the chart 3-4 is based on the following calculations. Fibonacci Fibonacci prices extensions in combinations with Fibonacci price corrections price bands or clusters are two significant areas on the price scale where price targets calculated from different swing size either overlap or are very close together price clusters are especially meaningful when conduct when conducting projections of future pricing movements as exemplified on the S&P 500 index The Japanese yen cash currency example shows how major turning points in the markets can be identified successfully on highly volatile products. The pricey band for the trend chains at point F is calculated by multiplying the distance from point E to point 10 by the ratio and by a uh, 50% retracement measured on the swing from the peak at point 7 to the valley at point E. The tools applied do not price bend to capture the trend reversal at point D. Summary, working with Fibonacci price extensions can be important uh, to calculate long-term or, or short-term turning point is any trended product. We have presented example. We have presented example for determining prices bands as targets for market movements to define the upper and the lower border of a pricey band and terribly separate the important pricey targets from the less important ones. We use Fibonacci price extensions calculated from different swing size. Fibonacci price extensions in combination with Fibonacci price corrections, price bands or clusters are two significant areas on the price scale where price targets calculated from different swing size either overlap or are very close together. Price clusters are especially meaningful when conduction Projections of future pricing movements as exemplified on the S&P 500 index, the Japanese yen cash currency examples shows how major turning points in the markets can be identified successfully on highly volatile products. If we change the charting technique and add candlestick to figure uh, DEX, check the chart from 8.2 to 10.2. The Japanese yen cash currency sample shows how major turning points in the market can be identified successfully on highly volatile products. 
okay until here first for today see you in the next video bye bye bye